All right, so I was out of the garage working the other day, and I collected all this sawdust, and I because I figured, what can I use that for? It's just going on the ground. I think I can do something with it. So I decided to see if I could make some fire starting pucks. And what I'm going to do is, after we get done cooking these up and everything, I'm going to use some potassium permanganate and see how that works with it. I'm going to use a magnesium stick, see how that works with it. Um, maybe just a, the ferrule rod without the magnesium, see how that works. And I'm going to try to put some char cloth, maybe embed it a little bit and see if that works or see if that's just a waste of time. Um, I was going to do a video on how to make char cloth, but it's pretty simple. If you get one of these Altoid tins, you basically put a nail hole in the top right there. And then you just throw some, some cotton, an old t-shirt, make sure it's cotton though throw it in there and throw this on your camp stove, a fire, whatever you have, and just cook it until it stops smoking out of this little hole and basically uh, you're ready to go. It won't burn all the way, but it'll burn enough to where it ignites really easy. So with that, I suppose, let's go into what all of the stuff I've got here and then we'll start, we'll start uh, melting some wax. But what I did was just went and bought a large candle. I think it was like two bucks and I just wrapped it in this rag right here and just smacked the crap out of it with a hammer that way the smaller chunks will melt a little bit easier and then i've got these these cupcake cups i suppose and i got the small size and the large size because this pan i bought is the smaller size i don't need big giant pucks you know in my bug out bag so i wanted the smaller ones but i also want to be able to kind of wrap them and, and close in the, the wax stuff so we'll see how these work i don't think these will work because you can't really push them down in there um, I'll do one here real quick, kind of a, kind of, we'll just kind of see how it works. Oh, that's too much. But it's got a lot of stuff on top that I can fold over and these ones just fit right in there. So what we're going to do is melt some wax now and we'll start filling these up and see how this whole thing goes. All right, so I've got a pan here and this is an old pan that, um, that we don't really use anymore. It's missing the handle and everything. Um, I would advise if you if you're married that you maybe go to the thrift store and buy a pan. Um, if you're a bachelor, you do what you need to do, I suppose. Um, and I've also got this pan here because I might need to double boil it. Um, I'm going to see how this works and see if I can get the right temperature. I'm going to start on really low heat and then work my way up. But for now, I'm going to throw in some of this wax here. I'm going to throw in a few of the smaller pieces to kind of get this going a little bit. And I'll throw in some of these shreds and try not to get too much on Lisa's stove because I'll have to clean it up before she gets home. But we'll just do that and we'll let that melt a little bit. And then once that's done, um, we're gonna see we're gonna see how all of this stuff comes together, put some sawdust in the pans and and see how it works, then we'll try to light it on fire. All right, so it's been about five minutes and this wax is basically done. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. For these larger ones, I'm putting about a teaspoon of sawdust in them. I'm kind of throwing them down. It helps seal those down a little bit. So these might actually work, who knows. Um, so we'll fill all of these up and then we'll start with the wax. And then the, the smaller ones here, I'm only using about a half teaspoon. They're a little bit smaller. I want to try to get these as small as I can. I don't need a whole one like that. And I don't want to have to break them. I'd like to just have them in my bag. So that's basically it for those. Now let's grab the wax and see how we can do this. And once we get these put, filled with wax, I'm going to stick them in the freezer. I don't know how I'm going to do that because this is a little bigger. Probably have to go out to the garage and put it in that freezer. Um, but we'll wait about five 10, 15 minutes or so until they get cold to the touch. And then uh, we'll pull them out and see how it works. But let's get this wax. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just use this spoon and kind of drip it in there and see how that works. Might need to figure out a different method later because this isn't a whole lot of, <laughs> it's not a whole lot of wax going in there. Okay, they look pretty saturated now. 
and I forgot to do this earlier, but we'll see if I can still get it in there. I want to put this in one of these and see see how that works. If I can make it a little a little wick or something. Who knows if that's going to work or not? We'll find out. I don't want to get the wax on that though, but I have a feeling it's going to suck up the wax anyway. But that's that for now. And then we'll put this in the freezer and then we'll see how everything works out here in just a minute or about 15 minutes. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes or so now and these are pretty cold to the touch. Uh, look pretty good. This is the, the extra I had left over. I decided to throw it in there, maybe get rid of some of this wax. I'll have to make sure. Uh, use this pan just for this now because it's kind of kind of useless but let's see how these suckers actually if they if the stuff went all the way through uh, looks like the bottoms I'm gonna take one out what I want to do is kind of wrap them like that to make it to where they're sealed and maybe even throw a little bit more wax on top but that way this this paper can also be used to help help ignite it a little bit but let's open this one up and see kind of how this works you can see some of the sawdust maybe I didn't get it enough or something like that but this looks pretty good it's a good puck I suppose break it open and see how saturated it is pretty good um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw a few of these in here and then we'll go We'll go test some of this stuff. Now see these smaller ones don't quite get that seal that I wanted so they uh, look like little Reese's pieces but um, looks like they they sealed a little better but I just need to put more wax in the larger ones I think. These look, sorry, these look pretty good. Um, but we'll go out and try uh, this magnesium permanganate which is pretty cool. That's, I feel like a little kid, can't wait for that. So magnesium and then just the, the regular flint and see what we can do. Also, we've got this one right here with the piece of char cloth and it feels like the char cloth, the wax didn't soak all the way up, but it did soak uh, the stem of it. So we'll see how that works. Uh, but let's go out and let's go out and have some fun and see how, how much of a waste of time this was or, or if it was worth it. <laughs> 